The wars in Europe and West Asia have given impetus to the resurgence of an old adversary, the ISIS. The recent attacks on the Crocus Concert Hall in Moscow, claimed by ISIS-K or Islamic State Khorasan, underscores this alarming revival. The attackers targeted the Crocus City Hall music venue, killing over 140 people, including children, marking one of the deadliest attacks near Russia's capital in recent memory. Despite ISIS-K claiming responsibility for the attack, Moscow is adamant that Ukraine had ordered the attack. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said that Moscow cannot be the target of Islamic fundamentalists. However, Russia has not produced any evidence to back its claims. According to reports, Washington had in fact warned Russia of an Islamic State attack on the Crocus Hall on the 7th of March, which was 15 days prior to the actual atrocity. Iran too had reportedly tipped off Moscow over a possible Islamic State massacre, backed by intelligence reports. The motivation behind ISIS's targeting of Russia can be attributed to a myriad of factors. Historically, ISIS has viewed Russia as a major adversary due to Russia's foreign policy actions such as its military campaigns in Syria and Africa against ISIS fighters, its alliance with the Syrian and Iranian governments and its involvement in the Afghan conflict against the Taliban. This perception positions Russia prominently in the propaganda and ISIS's strategic objectives. ISIS-K, the group claiming responsibility for the Moscow attack, is known for its radical ideology, which distinguishes it even among other groups. This branch of ISIS, largely based in eastern Afghanistan and Pakistan, aims to assert its dominance and expand its influence across the Khorasan region, challenging major global powers like Russia and Iran. The resurgence of ISIS, particularly ISIS-K, is partly attributed to its successful regrouping and exploitation of geopolitical turmoil in the region. Despite facing significant losses in Syria and Iraq, ISIS has found a new stronghold in Afghanistan, where the withdrawal of the US forces and the rise of the Taliban have inadvertently provided a conducive environment for the group to strengthen and launch more ambitious global attacks. This recent attack in Moscow not only demonstrates ISIS-K's capability and intent to project power beyond its regional base, but also signals a concerning phase in the group's evolution, highlighting its persistent threat in a changing global landscape.